World War II hero and former South Carolina Representative T. Moffat Burris was honored today after passing away January 4th at the age of 99. News 19's Kaylin Hagwood has the story. T. Moffat Burris. Very fine man. He was a hero. Doesn't take much to know him. You just have to have met him once. If you were with Moffat Burris, you were with one of the greatest people you could ever have the honor and pleasure of meeting. On January 4th, Burris passed away at age 99, but his life and legacy lives on in the lives of those who met him. Described by many as an honorable and humble man, he spent part of his life serving in the military as a paratrooper during World War II and participating in some of the war's heaviest fighting. Served his country to the point that many young people will now know the price that was paid by men such as this. To hear from my granddad and dad, that's one thing, but to hear it from the man himself, that just really puts emphasis on the stories. Stories like something out of a movie, so much so that they made one based on his experiences. He was a hero to the nation, to the state. He has a tremendous influence on our families and our society. After the war, he was elected to the South Carolina House of Representatives, where his influence helped build the Republican Party as we know it today. He had such a big heart. Uh, for the people of South Carolina and it was very sincere uh, and of course it all emanated from uh, his love and affection of America. He was a busy man always traveling and, and he, you had to kind of speak to him as he was moving. When you did speak to him, <laughs> he'd probably get you laughing from a joke or two. He was funny. He was so funny. And adventurous too. On his 90th birthday, Burris celebrated by parachuting again. He was a special person and, you know, just blessed that, that I had a chance to rub elbows with him, so to speak. He was a good man, a man to emulate. And I was, I'm proud, I'm proud to have known him and glad he influenced us the way he did. In Chapin, South Carolina, Kaylin Hagwood, News 19, WLTX.